Another Monday where Brandon tears stuff apart and fixes it. It's rotten. That's why that roof stick folds up right there. Because these are rotten. Today's project, we've taken our gutters down here. We had a couple pretty bad like drips where the gutter was bowed. The main problem is the wood was rotten that tied into the joists. God, we didn't do this in the summer. But much more importantly than our little house projects, it's about that time. Gonna decorate for Christmas, decorate for Christmas, decorate for Christmas. Brandon's not a Grinch or anything. Honey, what happened to you in your childhood during Christmas? I was dropped off at this place called Lewa Hitchagoo. <laughs> you guys joke about that at the Thanksgiving table, but that's straight trauma. And it shows. It's real. Yeah. It's a tough life. All right, let's get this over with. Are you excited or what? Oh, I'm freaking ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> I, for one, am ecstatic. And I'm going to keep the morale high here. Luckily, we don't have to do, like, the kind of Christmas decorating at a normal house where you, like, staple all the lights. We're not, it's really just not practical here. But it's still going to look really cute. <laughs> We're both definitely like minimalist at heart, so we don't go huge on this, but you gotta have at least a little Christmas spirit, right? The tiniest Christmas tree for the tiniest house. We may or may not get like a mini, but actual tree. We're not sure yet. Sit down, lady. These are Brandon's old ornaments that were kind of passed down throughout his family. They are so cute. Some of these are like, how old? 40, 38 years old. Yeah. Honestly, that height would have been perfect too. <laughs> I'm wondering if this is too tall. Did I measure it before I bought this? No. No, I didn't. I live life on the edge. Okay, scratch the ceiling. Oh! It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Let's just squish this down. Alright, round two. We are brushing the ceiling, not scratching. Yes! Okay, so many really old, just adorable little ornaments to choose from. This one for sure has its nautical. This is one of mine. I cannot remember, but I guarantee that was like made in art class or something. That's my school picture. Adorable, I know. 
Okay, we definitely seem to be going with a bear theme. We're gonna say this is the Very Merry Christmas Tree. Maybe I must like bears as a kid. So, do we think that he's gonna be like, oh great, more Christmas stuff? Or do we think he's gonna be really excited and dare I say sentimental about all of his childhood ornaments here? Well, I don't want to ruin the surprise. I think you'll like it. What is it? What's a hint? <laughs> Can I eat it? Um, I would not recommend eating it, no. Do you know what time you'll be home? Uh, maybe five, six, something like that. Is it something that I can take with me to work? No. I mean, I, I guess you- I can't eat it. I guess you could. No worries, mate. All righty, well, I love you, darling. I love you too. I'll see you later. What did the Grinch say? I said, <laughs> with all these decorations, I feel like Christmas is finally here. Oh. My heart is full of joy. And his heart grew three sizes yeah. that day. <laughs> go, 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 go. Okay, we've got the lights plugged in. Take it right there. What do you think about the tree? It's very cute. It's lovable and it gives me a warm heart. Are you being honest? Yeah. You like how your ornaments are on there? Oh, it's so perfect. Was that a nice surprise? I couldn't ask for a better lady. Thanks, baby. <laughs> what are you doing, Bear? All right, you guys, that's a wrap. We'll see you next week. <laughs> what are you doing, Bear? <gasps>